It's springtime again. If you don't feel it from the warmer weather or your allergies acting up, you do feel it when having to prepare your taxes or answering the kids' phone calls about money, each arriving around the same time. It makes you think spring is all about money and almost makes you wish this season never came. Regarding the children asking for money, how do you handle this? Do you give them a firm no and stick to your guns by never budging? Or is it a softer no, followed by their constant wah, 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 with you eventually giving in? With the firm no, you worry about what will be the retaliatory action that follows. Guilt trips, no more grandkid visits, barring you from the wedding if they ever marry, or no more invitations for holiday visits, behavior that some would call adult temper tantrums. Or do you enjoy saying that softer no, followed by giving in later? It certainly does make for entertainment while your cell phone blows up with text messaging, hilarious voicemails, and if you're so inclined to answer their phone calls, the continuous verbal spats with one another. Hey, nothing like passing the time away with your kids. At least you're connecting with them, right? For you, you consider whether you're enabling versus helping. If enabling, then the children will never learn to be responsible with their cash. And when you leave this earth or run out of money yourself from giving it to them, their lives and the lives of your lineage will likely be in ruins. If helping, it's a different story entirely. For helping, you want to see that they have been trying to work through the problem themselves, but have run up against the proverbial brick wall. And when giving your help, you have many jobs they can do for you to earn them needed money. House chores are always plentiful. And if you run your own business, your children can be hired as help to assist you. And with helping, you can pay by the hour or by the task as you remind yourself to keep the pay reasonable for the task performed. Thus, no $500 to unload the dishwasher and another $500 to load it back up. Additionally, you realize using the help avenue you get to spend quality time with your children as you bond while working together. So, in the end, you do for your children what your journey in life requires you to do for others. You help your children to help themselves by learning how to deal with life which includes financial acumen. To learn such requires work on their part followed by reasonable payment from you. Because you want your children to succeed, allowing them to earn while they learn from you is a wonderful opportunity for both you and them indeed. Now using my stoic storytelling method, my grown children keep asking me for money. What should I do? Teaching kids about money is never just about money, Dave Ramsey. She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue, Book of Proverbs. I inquire to learn what my child has tried to address their money problem. I realize that if my child has truly tried and reached a dead end, then I should exist. I now use money as a tool to develop my child's mind with wisdom. Thank you for sharing your mind with me. For your continued success, hear my secret. To teach a child to be money wise, fulfill their requests once you see some tries. Now relax, control your mind, and be as you wish to seem, empowered. Remember, it's the situation keeping my connection with him. I'm Lori Stiff, the Stoicist, and I believe in you.